So uh, next up, let's talk about uh, NXT TakeOver, the show that will happen to be happening while two indie wrestling shows that I'm involved with in some fa fashion are happening here. Uh, as the weekend of Too Much Wrestling continues... Um, <coughs> This so this is this is also in the Barclay Center, which is not a small venue. It is the place we're having SummerSlam. It is. Uh, do we know? Is it seventeen thousand, thirteen thousand in that venue? Something like that. I think thirteen thousand. I feel uh, it's it's thirteen thousand for Takeover. Thirteen thousand for Takeover. Sold out. First time they've had uh, the Takeover show not at Full Sail University in Florida. It is sold out. This is their secondary. Only on, for the most part, I know you can find it other places, only on WWE Network, and it sold out 13,000 tickets. Now, granted, that's the same weekend as SummerSlam, so there's a lot of people already in town. A lot of people may be already in town. I don't think 13,000 people were going to Ring of Honor, let's be honest, right? Um, so how much that hurts them? Probably not that much. They don't have that draw, and they have national television. Okay. Um, I don't know. I uh, I genuinely couldn't tell you uh, one top star in Ring of Honor right now. I don't know who's active in there anymore. Okay. I just have no idea. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's that, that's that's fine. I mean, but you 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 don't follow um um that, which is interesting because you're the ones brought Ring of Honor to me. That's and, true. And, and, that's and, true. That was a long time ago, though. That was a very long time ago. You're like, who is this Samoa Joe guy? Um, this Samoan Joe person. Samoan Joe, <laughs> exactly. Uh, but now, you know, also interesting, uh, the TakeOver not advertised anywhere on the front page right now at WWE.com. Nowhere am I seeing this. Um, oh, thank goodness they're sold out. <laughs> yeah, good thing they're sold out. And, and you know, we want to plug them on the network or something, maybe. Uh, but, but I don't know. What do you think? This is crazy. The NXT like experiment is still exploding. And this card is absolutely amazing. Um, we have, of course, top of the card is going to be uh, Baylor and, and Kevin. Uh, Kevin, yeah, Steen, Kevin Owens. Um, I, first of all, do you think uh, this is just going to solidify? I feel it's just going to solidify uh, Finn ba Baylor probably, right? Yeah. Yo, I mean, why why put the belt back on Owens with his run up in Raw and SmackDown and all that stuff? I mean, what you want? You your your product is doing well enough on its own without it being up on a Raw or a SmackDown or if Superstars is even still going. Mm -hmm. So I mean, keep it on Balor and let it. Him build up more until he's ready for the main roster. Right, right, right. Uh, what What do you think, Matt? I know you're you're big on the NXT side. Uh, how do you feel going into uh, this this biggest of NXT events? Uh, it's going to be interesting just because of the crowd. Um, I don't think the matches feel predictable to me, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be bad. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the top of the card is pretty clear where they're going with things with. Uh, Baylor and Owens and with uh, Bailey and Sasha Banks. Um, I think maybe the tag title match is probably the most high-profile toss-up. You know, I'll take that back, too, because uh, Baron Corbin versus Samoa Joe, um, I won't even wager a guess on which way they're going to take that one. <laughs> perhaps off a cliff, perhaps not. And uh, <laughs> um, So there's some interesting matches on the undercard now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, but the top of the card feels kind of predictable. But, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see um, it's going to be interesting to see the crowd and just whether the dynamic changes. NXT is all about that intimate um, viewing experience, um, a handful, hundreds, thousands of fans. So will that change or will that only amplify when you get 13,000 people? And then what will happen the following night at SummerSlam when you have to compare that crowd to the crowd Oof. at SummerSlam? That's right. Or the we... Raw the following day. They're running that building three straight nights. Sorg. Three. Oh, because um, Raw. Holy crap. Somebody somebody once, somebody wrestling smarty pants once told me three nights, straight nights in the same building, not a good idea. But they're going to try it. So we'll see how it goes. 
There's a, a going to burn out all of New York City. Triple H, uh, but also remember how many people are coming into New York City too. So I think I I, I think it's going to still. Uh, I mean, it, don't we also have this with WrestleMania? They do Hall of Fame. Uh, granted, it's not a wrestling show, but they do Hall of Fame. They do this. Are we going to get when we get back to like WrestleMania season? Are we going to get a Friday Night Takeover, then Hall of Fame? then WrestleMania, then Raw? Is it going to be a four-night stand in, whatever, in, in Dallas, Texas this next year? Depends where Ring of Honor is holding their show, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> but uh, a tr- fantastic poster going around. Triple H was tweeting out. They did an old-timey one, uh, the Battle for Brooklyn. Uh, 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 this is awesome. This is great stuff. Uh, even I'm even you know why I'm even excited for Samoa Joe versus Corbin. I, I think if anything, uh, obviously I think that's going to be uh, they're they're putting Joe in there to kind of make Corbin look good and everything. Uh, like I mean they had they had uh, Rhino and Corbin too, uh, but uh, I'm hoping that that elevates him a little bit. Breeze Lager is going to be great, and uh, this is a two pager by the way. 